Hello, again, Mark Crumnell from the MBA Corporation. This is the third of three videos covering the different features of the Pietro gas regulators. In this video, I will be covering the ability to clean out these units, the internal filter, the dual diaphragm for extra protection, and that of the taps. In order to clean out the bottom, all you do is take the bottom, take out your Torx driver, you can take off the entire bottom. If there's anything dirty in there, blow it out with an air compressor. The internal filter on the inlet side, again, if anything's dirty on here after removing all the torques, just take it to the air compressor, clean it out, slide it right back in, you're ready to go. The dual diaphragm, using either the external vent limiter or the outside venting, the dual diaphragm gives you the extra protection. The first diaphragm, the first diaphragm, if any time ever ruptures, you have a second diaphragm with a little pinhole leak in it, which will allow the pressure to bleed off at a very safe rate. Remember, in Wisconsin, anything of our external vent limiter can be vented inside the building without having a vented external. The taps on the unit. On all of our standard units, there's taps, but they are not drilled out. So if you're going to look at either the input or the output to monitor right at the gas regulator, you take either a 1 16th, 1 8th inch drill, something really small. Again, take off the bottom, make sure that there's no debris in there, and then do your readings. Once you're done, take a 1 8th inch NPT plug and plug them up. On the high capacity models, where you see the inlet, the outlet, and even the control port. I'm sorry, inlet, outlet, and control port. They are already tapped and are plugged. So all you have to do if you need to, just open them up and away you go. If you are going to use a control port, meaning if you want to control way down there, but your appliance is way down there and your regulator's here, the little tube that senses a control in the unit, just take some silicone, fill up that tube, and then you're going to be able to monitor from your control port down the way. The one additional item I wanted to talk to you about are the taps. On all the high capacity models, there is an input that has already been tapped and plugged, the output that has been tapped and plugged, and a control port. The low capacity units come with these ports for the input and output but are not tapped. But the high capacity is already tapped. If you wanted to set up your system properly, you can take out these, put your gauge across, and monitor it. On the control port, if you need to control your gas regulator at a distance far away, use 1 8 inch copper tubing like that's shown right here. Okay, Go into the control port then on the output, take a little bit of silicone, put it right on that uh, pitot tube right there, and now you're going to be able to control from that tap. Remember, just use like a 1 16th inch tap, and you're ready to go. Thank you.